on the cross my sickness my disease all the consequences of my evil were nailed to the cross are you hearing what i'm saying he nailed it to the cross it was a finished work clean clear he went to the father took the book untied it and in that book was seven things the seven keys that jesus brought for you and i he brought for us power riches, wisdom, strength, honor, and glory, and blessings. Listen. He brought it, not for him, but for us. He brought it, not for himself, but for the church. Church, I want to let you know Behind the scene, he went and liberated Abraham. He went and liberated Moses. He went and preached to them. And my Bible says, he resurrected. Whatever situation you think of today has been nailed to the cross. That poverty has been nailed to the cross. That sickness has been nailed to the cross. That cancer has been nailed to the cross. That evil has been nailed to the cross. And that was why he came out and said, It is finished. I pay the price. Nothing more to be paid. Occupy it till I come. He paid it all. He paid it all. Nothing to be done. He did all. Glory to God. He did all. And having spoiled principalities. <laughs> the person attacking you have been spoiled. You didn't hear what I said. That witch. That demon, that marine, that occult power, whatever that power is, my Bible says, my elder brother spoiled him. Oh God, you didn't hear what I said. He spoiled him. Do you know how to spoil something? When they spoil your vehicle, it can't move anymore. The man attacking you have been spoiled. He's no longer smart. He has no more power. He has nothing. Are you hearing me? He has no spoil. He is empty. He is useless. He is only a trick star. My people perish for lack of knowledge. As for whether the devil has power, he is powerless. As his father sent him, no power on earth was able to rusticate him. Jesus said, that is how I sent you. As the father sent him, he never begged for money to have a crusade. That is how the father sent him. As the father sent him, he never lacked anything. He had an accountant. That is how the father sent you. The Bible says, Jesus declared and said, as my father sent me, so sent I you. Praise God. They didn't know because they do not understand prophecy. The devil does not understand your destiny. He cannot tell what will happen. He may wait for you at your tender age. He's not aware that at the age of 50, that is when God will begin to move you in that realm he's afraid of. He may be waiting for you at the age of 50. He's not aware that the age of 30 is when God will begin to move you. Are you hearing me? He may sense that there is something about you, but he does not have complete understanding about your person. Are you with me? The devil is a liar. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Oh God. Eyes the head. Has 
God. His body is here. Jesus is Lord. Receive him as your personal Lord and Savior. Thou shalt be forgiven. And you say, I receive him. I brought you into the kingdom. Because I licked you to my head. No unbeliever can testify that Jesus is Lord. Only the born again can testify that Jesus is Lord. Now I've come to you to declare because I want you to make heaven. Jesus died for you, my brother. Accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. You know what is happening? He said, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I have the keys. I'm about to open it for you. That is why when you see me on crusade ground, I made some terrible statement. I said, run before I shut the heavens. Because I have the key of the kingdom of heaven. If I close it against you, you are finished. Run! And I tell them, Jesus died for you. Receive him as your personal Lord and Savior. I have opened the gates of heaven to them. And they get entrance into the heavens. You know why? He is the head of the body. We are the body. You may be the leg, you may be the finger, you may be the eyes, you may be the nose, but you know what? We are the body of Christ. Not bodies, body of Christ. He said, I give unto you power. He gave the body power. 